dear students welcome to this session on nurse distribution law in which we will be able to learn the application of distribution law with respect to solvent extraction process and numerical problems on solvent extraction so let us see the application of law in solvent extraction process suppose we have an aqueous solution containing an organic compound a so this aqueous solution is mixed with an organic solvent like ether which is immiscible with water and shaken well in a separating flask the organic compound gets distributed between the two liquids till equilibrium is attained and reaches its distribution coefficient value since the distribution ratio being in favor of ether most of the organic substance passes into ether layer and this ether layer can be separated from aqueous layer and ether is highly volatile it is distilled off and the organic substance is left behind once ether layer is removed again we can add fresh ether and again compound gets distributed till the distribution coefficient value is reached again more amount of organic compound can be extracted not only ether in many cases solvents like hexane benzene chloroform acetone are also used in solvent extraction process suppose v ml of aqueous solution containing w gram of solute is extracted with v ml of organic solvent then after extraction w1 gram of the solute is left behind in aqueous solution then the amount of substance present in organic solvent will be equal to w minus w1 gram now the concentration of the solute in aqueous solution is w1 gram and in that of organic solvent is w minus w1 gram since the distribution coefficient is ratio of concentration of solute in water to the concentration of solute in organic solvent so in the first extraction concentration in aqueous layer is w1 upon v ml concentration in organic solvent is w minus w1 upon v ml so on substituting for concentration and on simplification the expression for w1 that is amount unextracted or left behind in aqueous solution will take the form w1 equals w into kd into v upon kd to v plus v where kd is distribution coefficient v is volume of aqueous solution and this small v is volume of organic solvent so w1 is the substance left unextracted in aqueous solution at the end of first extraction or first step v ml of aqueous solution having w1 gram of solute is shaken with v ml of fresh organic solvent now after extraction that is w2 gram of solute will be left behind in aqueous solution the amount entered in organic solvent is w1 minus w2 so similarly as in the earlier case now amount unextracted is w2 which can be written as w1 into kd into v upon kd into v plus v and from first extraction we have for w1 this expression we can substitute for w1 in this equation so on substituting for w1 
the expression will be w2 equals w this into this it will be whole square so th this is the expression after the end of second extraction the amount unextracted or left behind in aqueous solution that is w2 Similarly, after multiple extraction, let it be at nth step extraction, then the amount left unextracted is Wn and the expression takes the form W into Kd into V upon Kd into V plus V to the power of n. So, if more amount should be extracted means then the amount left unextracted should be very small. So, this will be very small when N is large and volume of organic solvent is very small. So, amount of substance unextracted is Wn. Then, amount of substance extracted will be equal to W minus Wn. So, efficiency of extraction increases by increasing the number of extraction using a small amount of solvent. So, multiple extraction is more efficient than simple extraction. The distribution coefficient of iodine between water and carbon tetrachloride is 0 0.0017. 1 liter of aqueous solution containing 1 gram of iodine is shaken with 100 ml of carbon disulfide till the equilibrium is reached. Find the amount of iodine extracted by carbon disulfide. So here we have to find out the amount of iodine extracted during the process. So first we have to determine the amount of iodine left unextracted. Since here 100 ml of organic solvent that is carbon disulfide is added at once. It is a one step single step extraction. So, amount unextracted W1 is equal to W into Kd into V upon Kd into V plus V. Where distribution coefficient Kd is equal to 0.0017. W amount of solute in aqueous solution is 1 gram. Volume of aqueous solution that is 1 liter equal to 1000 ml. Volume of organic solvent is 100 ml. On substituting all these values and on calculation, we will get W1 equals 0.0167 gram. So, this is amount unextracted. So, amount of iodine extracted W equals W minus W1. W is the amount of solute before extraction in aqueous solution is 1 gram minus amount left unextracted 0.0167 equals 0.983 gram. So, amount of iodine extracted will be equal to 0.983 gram. Let us take another numerical problem in which the distribution coefficient of a substance X between ether and water is 9. Calculate the mass of X extracted by shaking 100 ml of an aqueous solution containing 10 gram of X with 50 ml of ether twice at room temperature. So here 50 ml of ether is used twice. That is it is a two step extraction process. So amount of X left unextracted in the nth step can be calculated using this expression. Here n is equal to 2. Distribution coefficient is 9. W amount of substance that is x in aqueous solution before extraction is 10 gram. Volume of aqueous solution is 100 ml. Volume of solvent is 50 ml. W2 equals 10 into 9 into 100 upon 9 into 100 plus 50 whole square. On calculation, you will get 8.97 gram. 
this is amount left unextracted in the aqueous solution so amount of x extracted will be equal to w minus w2 that is 10 minus 8.97 will be equal to 1.03 gram so th this is a two step extraction process a multi step or multiple extraction will be more efficient than single step extraction so in this session we have seen application of nurse distribution law in solvent extraction process and how to calculate the amount of substance extracted in solvent extraction process so with this i will end this session thank you